Hello students. So in today's video, we have a grade 2 verbal question. Let us understand how we will solve this question. So very quickly, let us read what the question tells us. So here is the question. There are coins on the board. We want to have two coins in each column and two coins in each row. How many coins need to be removed? So this is our board we are talking about. Okay. And let us check for the rows first. So one, two, three, four. So we have four rows. In the first row, we have two coins. As per the question, we need to have two coins in each column and two coins in each row. So, in the first row, we already have two coins. Again, in the second row, we have two coins. In the third row, we have three coins. And in the fourth row, we have three coins. That means from the third and fourth row, one coin need to be removed. Now, let's move to the columns. So, let us first name our columns. So, first, second, third and fourth, we have four columns. Now, in the first column, we can see we have three coins. In the second column, we have two coins. In the third column, we have three coins. And in the fourth column, we have two coins. Now, according to this observation, one coin again need to be removed from column 1 and one coin from column 3. So now let us mark our rows and columns from which we need to remove one coin. So, we, make, we draw a line here. Now, let's start with this intersection. So, let us remove this one coin which lies on this intersection. The point where these two lines are cutting each other. Now, let's check again. So, in the first row, we have two coins. In the second row, again, we have two coins. In the third row, we have two coins, but for the fourth row, we have three coins. Now again, let's check for our columns. So, in the first column, we have two coins. The second already had two coins. The fourth already had two coins. Now again, we can see that the third column and the fourth row. Both of these have three coins each. Now if we observe closely, this coin lies on the intersection. That means that this coin is common in the third column and fourth row. So let us remove this coin. And now students, let's count again. So, now if we start counting after removing these two points, we will observe that in our first column we have two coins, in the second column two coins as well, in the third column again we have two coins and in the fourth column we have two coins. Similarly, when we talk about our rows, in the first row, we have two coins. In the second row, again two coins. In the third row, two coins. And in the fourth row, two coins. That means, student, we need to remove two coins from this arrangement, which means option C is the correct answer. Thank you.